I am joined by Skopa Chepesin Mkule Lengwa. They were supposed to meet Dinel as well as the board today. But uh, Chepesin, a no-show by Dinel board this morning. <coughs> yeah, it's one of those continuations of the collapses of governance within the SOEs because on the 23rd of May I dispatched a letter to the Minister of Public Enterprises who is the shareholder representative and the conduit which we use to facilitate communication with SOEs. Uh, the board chairperson, I received an le undated letter on Friday indicating that she would be travelling um, abroad and that she would endeavour that um, there is board representation today. During the course of the weekend, I've made substantial um, follow-ups to make sure that there's board representation today so that we can meet. It's very clear, the board is the accounting authority in terms of the law, so there's no two ways about it. Secondly, this is not without precedent, so that it is not seen as though we're picking on Denel. Whenever SOE boards have not appeared, we have not met, because we would be endorsing uh, this AWOL behavior, uh, which um, we saw today. I find it to be a dereliction of duty. I find it to be reckless and irresponsible because there was a commitment that the board would be made available. So what we have then decided is that the meeting will reconvene on the 14th of June, next week Wednesday. And in the event that the board is not available, I have asked Parliamentary Legal Services to prepare subpoenas which I will present to the committee and then ask the Speaker to dispatch them so that the board is compelled uh, to uh, appear before the committee. Otherwise, if we let these things slide, uh, uh, then we are complicit um, in the collapse of the SOEs. There's a proposal that uh, the board members should personally pay for the expenses incurred by those who travel today because that basically amounts to a wasteful expenditure. That's correct. I have asked the Deputy Minister Appella, who has got the delegated responsibility of Deno, um and the CEO to advise the board that before the meeting commences next week, Wednesday, they are to address us and present to us in writing reasons why. Um, they should not uh, bear the cost of today's meetings. Uh, meeting personally, those incurred by Parliament, the SIU, public enterprises, and um, the Denel executives um, who are here. Because at, we, we do have to um, ensure that we protect in practical terms the public purse. So the, these postponements uh, are wasteful expenditure, but also waste of time. You see, the committee's program is very packed. There are outstanding matters which if they had sensibly told us that they were not available for whatever reason, because we're not rigid, we are flexible in understanding that there are other responsibilities, we would have scheduled something else. But what is reckless and what is irresponsible and what I find to be a breach of fiduciary responsibility is for them to undermine Parliament where they account, because I can assure you, had this been a meeting about a bailout, they would have been here in full complement. So they, they can't cherry pick what they appear before Parliament for a not. They have got outstanding audits um, with the AG. The financial situation at Denel is not uh, pleasing at all, to, to, for lack of a better phrase. In fact, that's euphemistic uh, on, on my part. But the whole situation in total is not one which inspires confidence. There's nine billion rands worth of bailouts um, at Denel. So they have to account and explain. We want an audit turnaround plan. We need to get an explanation also when a full board complement will be appointed. So. If we then allow uh, flexibility and uh, allow cherry picking in terms of what it is that they appear parliament before for and not, uh, uh, then we in ourselves as a committee would be complicit and I can't allow that. So the message is very clear um, to Daniel. Um, they have to make um, that uh, explanation and we will make a decision um, in the coming uh, weeks after that. As you know, parliament is going on recess, but we will be on an oversight visit visit to ESCOM and National Treasury amongst others, we will find time to discuss that then and make a decision as a committee as to what we make of the representations that they'll make. Dinel has been facing financial challenges. Um, there was some point whereby workers were reportedly not being paid. The board did not showing up today. What does it say about them and, 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 and the entity? It's a practical confirmation of the state of affairs. 
um, it, it, it's literally there's a phrase I use kukwa kok. I, I make the example that if my son visits his grandmother it's a free for all there he does whatever he wants and you know what 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 and then when he comes back home the rules are in place because kukwa allows anything so at Danelle, the situation is that kukwa kok. And this is a practical demonstration of that. Secondly, we can't continue throwing financial solutions to non-financial problems. There has to be a turnaround in terms of governance, financial management, and um, human resource uh, management, consequence management. So the whole management structure at Danel needs a total overhaul and review. And central to that agenda is the board, who have been appointed on an interim basis to um, deal with all those things. The audits have to be completed um, so that we get a clearer picture of the state of uh, health or lack thereof of Danel. So as and when these uh, things happen, such as not showing up for basic standard parliamentary meetings, it's an indication to us that the priorities are not aligned and they are misplaced in terms of the national interest and national responsibility on one hand, but also on the other hand, basic board function. It cannot be that an entire board cannot be available for a parliamentary meeting, which has been scheduled in good time, and we allow that to be business as usual, as business acceptable. So the situation at Denel at this point in time is business unusual, and today was confirmation of why we have the problems that we have. And this should be embarrassing even to the shareholder because the deputy minister Obed Bapela was here. Well, obviously it is. He is indicating that even as of last night, he was not certain in terms of who should have been here. So it tells you that uh, this board uh, has become a runaway train. Um, it, it, it does as it pleases, as, as and when uh, its, its whims dictate. The, the, uh, my assessment is that there's a lack of board discipline. Um, currently at uh, Deno, and they must come next week and explain and prove me otherwise. But the indictment that I'm putting out to them is that Denel at this point in time is characterized by board ill discipline, and it, that is to the detriment um, of Denel and um, it, 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 its entire um, state of health or lack thereof. So, quite clearly, we have a problem at Deno, and they have to come and clear it and unpack it um, for us next week. Until they do that, uh, we go with the conclusion uh, that we've got a, a serious challenge at board level at Deno. Thank you very much That's for your good. time. That was the Skopa Chairperson Mkulego Shlengwa saying that uh, the no-show by the uh, board of Dinel shows that there's lack of discipline in the board at the entity, which has been facing serious financial challenges to a point whereby uh, there were reports that uh, employees were not being paid their salaries.